Okay, good evening, class. Good evening, ma'am. So before we uh, we start our lesson for today, let's have a system check first. Can you hear and see me properly? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. So how's everybody? We're fine, ma'am. Okay, that's nice to hear. So Miss Bernardo, please check the attendance and together with the screenshot, attach it to my email later after the class, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, so now let us start by knowing what are our objectives for today. Miss Azaleen, can you please read what's written on the screen? Okay, ma'am. By the end of our lesson for today, you should be able to first identify when to properly use will and going to in a sentence. Second, explain the importance of knowing the difference of will and going to. Practice writing will and going sentences to using passion thought strategy. Make an infographic about the proper usage of will and going to. Okay, thank you so much, Celine. Now, okay, let me just, okay. Now, before we officially start our lesson for the day, I want to ask you class some random questions and I hope you'll answer me honestly. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, by the way, if your microphones are malfunctioning, just please make use of our meeting strut box, all right? Noted, ma'am. Ma okay. So, let us start with you, Sabine. Did you or say, are you studying for our upcoming periodical test next week? Um, yes, I am studying little by little, ma'am. So, what do you think will be the outcome of your periodical test? I will be happy with the result of my periodical exam. Okay, that's great, Sadie. Thank you so much. Now for your turn, Denise. I want you to look outside. Okay, ma'am, just a second. I'm looking outside now. So what can you see? I see a lot of clouds. So what do you think does it mean? I think it's going to rain anytime soon. It's okay. Thank you so much for that. So now, for my next question, all the three of us will answer. So, where are you going to spend your vacation? Me, I am going to spend my vacation on Shergao. How about you, Sabine? I am going to spend my vacation at my grand's, grandparents' place. How about you, Denise? I'll spend my vacation somewhere far, ma'am. Okay, sounds interesting, huh? So, I am really glad to hear from the two of you, and thank you for sharing your future plans with me. So, now, I'm curious. Have you heard people saying, I am going to ride a jeepney, or I'll shop at Robinson's Malala's later, or I'm going out on a date tonight? Well, I bet you must have heard. So, now, I want you to listen carefully because I have an example for you. So once, one of my friends, Vincent, called me. Couldn't bring, assume that's a phone call. Hello? And then Vincent said, hi, man. Oh, hi, Vincent. How are you doing? And Vincent, I'm fine, man. How are you doing? I said, I'm good. And then Vincent said, man, would you like to join me for a coffee tomorrow? Then I answered him. Yes, I will join you for coffee tomorrow, but I need to tell my mom first about it. So that is the end of the conversation. Let us stop there. So I told him that I will join you for coffee tomorrow. That is my response, right? So how much time do you think I took for this decision? I think not much, ma'am. It's an immediate decision. Did I ask him to wait till I figure out my answer? No, you didn't, ma'am. No, I didn't, right? When he asked me if I would like to join him for a coffee tomorrow, I immediately say yes. Take note of the word, huh? Immediately. And I hardly took any time to think about my decision, right? So now let's have another example. Say, for instance, we are going to throw a party and we all need to bring something to that event 
and we all need to contribute something for this occasion. So because I am an expert when it comes to dessert, I volunteered. I said, I'll bring some cupcakes and the niece will discontinue. I'll bring some chips. And Celine will? And I'll bring some drinks. Okay, that's good. So let's continue with one more example. Take note of your of the given examples, of the past two given examples, okay? So let's move on to the third example. So for instance, my friend and I on a, is on a road trip. And she asked me, Man, are you hungry? And I answered and then I I answered her, yes, and I will eat now. Again, my answer is yes, I will eat now. Now the question is, what do you observe from these examples, from the three examples that I gave you? Um, you use the modal auxiliary verb, will, to your responses. Okay, that's a nice insight. So why do you think I used will instead of going to? Mm, because all your responses from the examples were decisions made on the moment of speaking, ma'am. Okay, that is correct. So, again, modal auxiliary verb will expresses future actions decided at the moment of speaking. So, meaning to say it pertains to rapid, fast, and quick decisions. And furthermore, we also use will when we make the predictions based on personal opinions or experiences. Lastly, it is also used when expressing future facts. Again, can please someone read what's written on our screen? Any volunteer? I volunteer, ma'am. Okay, please read it. Modal auxiliary ver very will express future actions decided at the moment of speaking. Furthermore, we also use will when we make predictions based on personal opinions or experiences. Lastly, it is also used when expressing future facts. Okay, so as per my conversation example with Vincent, I answered him, I will join you for coffee tomorrow because it was a rapid decision. A decision that I decided as I was speaking. Right? So we also use will when we talk about the party right and it is because we decided to bring cupcakes chips and drinks and the moment of speaking and we didn't have the intention to do such thing or to bring those things before the conversation right can you follow guys yes ma'am yes, ma okay do you have any questions or clarifications none so far ma'am so ma okay that's good so to continue we said earlier that we use will when we make predictions based on personal opinions or experiences, right? Yes. So when I asked Aileen if she is preparing for our exam and then she answered, I will be happy with the result of my periodical exam. Am I correct? That's your answer, Aileen? Yes, ma'am. So yeah, so what does it mean? Please share your insight about your answer. Um, I used will on my sentence basically because based from my experience, I usually get satisfactory grade whenever I review it thoroughly for a week before the exam. Okay. C class, Celine is basically use basically used will in expressing her personal opinion or personal experience. Right, Celine? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you so much. So I'm glad that you can follow. Now let's move on to another set of example. Shall we continue the conversation that we are having with Vincent? Okay, ma'am. Okay. So can you still remember how did I end the conversation? Again, can you still mm -hmm. remember how did I end our conversation earlier? Yes, ma'am. Um, you told him that you need to tell your mom about it first. Yes, that's correct. So let me call my mom and inform her that I am going to grab some coffee with Vincent. Well, another phone call. Let's assume that this is a phone call. So hello, mom. Hello, man. How are you? So I am going. I am doing great, ma'am. I am um, actually want to ask you something. And she said, sure, man. What is it? Um, I'm going out for coffee tomorrow with Vincent. Is that fine? 
And she said, you may go absolutely fine. End of conversation. So what did I tell my mom? Anyone? You are going to meet Vincent tomorrow for a coffee. So when did I make the decision to meet Vincent? Mm, upon speaking to your mom, you made decision in the past or before the moment of speaking. Yes, you are correct. And I have already decided to meet Vincent. So the arrangement has been made, the agreement has been made, and basically, Vincent and I have already agreed that we are meeting tomorrow. And then I am telling my mom. So let us move this slide away. Okay? So can you now understand what I am trying to say here? When we use going to, um, it's basically because the decision has been made before the moment of speaking. It is not an instant decision. So you basically have the arrangement ready, the plan ready, and it is when you're going to use going to in a sentence. So additionally, we also use going to when expressing a prediction based on present evidences or present evidence rather. Now, I how about when Denise answered, I think it's going to rain anytime soon. Do you have any explanation why did you use going to instead of will, Denise? I used going to on my answer, obviously, because I start I stared outside and it's evident that it will rain soon. So that is correct. So I asked you to look outside first, right? And with that, you essentially now have the present evidence that it's going to rain. Thank you for that insight, Denise. So, um, same goes with the, the rain example earlier. I have another example here. So, the context is Jeff is a boxer and he is on the ring with a man two times bigger and muscular than him. So, after a round or two, Jeff is bruised and tired. And now the sentence is, Jeff is going to lose the fight. So again, the sentence is, Jeff is going to lose the fight. Celine, why do you think that instead of will, I use going to in my sentence? Um, because there is a given context that explicitly states that Jeff has no chance of winning since he is bruised and tired. Well, that is well said. And we don't just think that maybe Jeff will lose the fight. We know for sure that it's going to happen because we have the present evidence. Obviously, he doesn't stand a chance with his opponent, right? Yes, ma'am. So, can you follow? Yes, ma'am. So, do you have any questions or clarifications? None so far, ma'am. Okay, that's good. So, one last example. So, on the onset of our discussion, I asked you, where are you going to spend your vacation, right? So, Celine answered that she's going to spend her vacation at her grandparents' place. Am I correct? That's your answer? Is that Denise? Yes, ma'am. That's my answer. Oh, okay. Good. So, my question is, why did you use going to instead of will? Um, I used going to instead of will because I pre-planned my vacation already. And I have decided that I'll spend my vacation with my grand in in my grandparents, please, even before the moment of speaking. Okay, that is a good um, reason. So now, before we officially end our lesson for today, let me just elaborate that we use will and going to to indicate future. So there is no big issue if we make a mistake here. So however, we discussed this lesson for today so that um, you can properly use it without um, misstating what you are trying to say or what you're meant to say. What you meant to say. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are we clear? Do you have any questions or clarifications? And None, so ma'am. Okay. So, since we're clear, let us... Okay, okay, good. That's good. So, since we are clear, let us see if you really grasp what we have just discussed. So, let us practice. So, who wants to go first? A volunteer, man. Who wants to go first? Any volunteer? Okay. Please read the sentence and tell me what is the correct answer. 
The phone is ringing. I blank answer it. The, con the correct answer is will. I will answer it. Very good. How about a second one? What is your plan for today? I blank watch a movie. The correct answer is going to. I am go going to watch a movie. That is very good. Who wants to go next? I volunteer, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Are you doing anything this summer? I blank get married. The correct answer is going to. I am going to get married. Okay, that's correct. Next. Um, number four, I need someone to clean the pool. I blank do it. Um, the correct answer is, will. I will do it. So very good. So it seems like you really understand our lesson for today. Now let us ha have some fun activity here. So, it, okay. So the activity is called Passion Talk. So what you're basically going to do is that I want you to write five to 10 sentences that you want to do or accomplish in the next 10 years. Again, in the next 10 years. So it can be personal or it can be career related or academic visions. It's all up to you. And of course, I'm expecting that you are going to use will and going to in your sentences. Are we clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, all right, you have 10 minutes to accomplish that. So for the submission, I have a bin created on our Google Classroom. Please check your emails or your Google Classroom for that. And it is entitled Passion Thought. So I just want you to comment or attach your answer there. You may start now. Okay, ma'am.
Okay, your 10 minutes is over now. Welcome back. Are we complete now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, let us begin again. So, for our generalization, my question is, why do you think it is important to know when to properly use will and going to? Any volunteer? Mm, it's important to know how to use will and going to because both expressions can be used to talk about the future, but we use different and it depends on what we want to say. So sometimes our sentence could be grammatically correct, but the meaning is not what we truly want to express, ma'am. Okay, that is correct. Thank you so much for that insight. Now, for your evaluation or for your activity, um, I believe that your, your ICT teacher already informed you that this would going to be an integrated activity. So basically, using Canva, which I assume that you are familiar with the software. I mean, the software, you are familiar with it, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to create an infographic, an infographic about the proper usage of will and going to. So here's the rubric for grading. 20% goes to the design. 30% goes to content, 20% goes to clarity, and th another 30% goes to representation, and there is a total of 100%. And that activity will be passed after 25 minutes. Again, there is already a bin created in your Google Classroom. Just check it out, and you're going to attach it there. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Do you have questions or clarifications? None, ma'am. Okay, so I'd like to end this class by leaving you with one great quote that I found on the internet. And it says that attractiveness of correct grammar cannot be overstated. So thank you for listening and I'll wait for your activity. Goodbye. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Ma Have a great evening, everyone. Bye.